Hello everyone, today our lessons are concept of environmental impact assessment. Let's get started now. Consideration of environmental impact assessment are divided into two topics. Project concept and site selection. What is the criteria for project concept in environmental impact assessment study? Project proponent must make sure that the concept of the proposed project not contradict any development plans, policies or any decisions of the government of Malaysia prior to the EIA study, namely, but not limited to the following. There are several criteria needed to be understand in project concepts such as national physical plan, structure plan, local plan, regional plan, interstate planning. Agreement between the Government of Malaysia and Kuality Alam SDNBHD on the disposal of scheduled wastes in Malaysia. Agreement between the Government of Malaysia and Pantai Medi Vest SDNBHD, Faber Mediserve SDNBHD and Radiker SDNBHD on the disposal of clinical wastes from government hospitals. Guidelines on Highland Development, Garius Banjuan Pambangun and Dikas and Tanatingji, and guidelines on siting and zoning of industries. The criteria for selecting a new site normally include engineering, environmental and economic aspects. Then, these sites are then investigated further for their suitability, through site visits and analyses of existing information. During this stage, measures to protect the environment and resolve socio-economic issues also considered. Furthermore, where the project is situated on private slash individual land or need waterways and the issue of compensation and offset investment should be addressed in the EIA, project proponent is encouraged not to select site which is located in or adjacent to environmentally sensitive area, ESA, as defined in National Physical Plan, April 2005, ESA shall be integrated in the planning and management of land use and natural resources to ensure sustainable development. The management of ESA shall be guided by the following criteria. First, ESA Rank 1, no development, agriculture or logging shall be permitted except for low-impact nature tourism, research and education. Second, ESA Rank 2, no development or agriculture. Sustainable logging and low-impact nature tourism may be permitted subject to local constraints. Third, ESA Rank 3, controlled development where the type and intensity of the development shall be strictly controlled depending on the nature of the constraints. The areas defined as environmentally sensitive as demarcated in IP8 of the National Physical Plan are, ESA Rank 1 first, all protected areas, refer to National Physical Plan, potential protected areas, wetlands and turtle landing sites. Secondly, catchment of existing and proposed dams. Thirdly, all areas above 1000 m contour. Secondly, ESA rank 2 all other forests, corridors, corridors linking important protected areas, buffer zone around rank 1 areas. Next, all areas between 300 m 1000 m contour. ESA rank 3 firstly, all marine park islands, buffer zone around rank 2 areas. Secondly, catchment for water intakes and groundwater extraction, well fields. Thirdly, all areas between 150 m 300 m contour, all areas with erosion risk above 150 tons per hectare year, all areas experiencing critical or significant coastal erosion, all sources from National Physical Plan, April 26, 2005. Some general criteria relevant to all projects are as below. Appropriate buffer zones should be included with respect to a specific category of development projects for example industrial projects, solid waste handling and disposal, facilities, landfills, incinerators, composting plants, and so on. Those guidelines for the siting and zoning of industries, latest revision, can be used as a general guide subject to the findings of the environmental impact assessment. Air pollution should be located to minimize air pollution and odor impact from point and fugitive sources. Where emissions of carcinogenic or mutagenic substances is possible due. Account should be made for health risks. While for water pollution, siting a facility along water courses can cause their eventual degradation and affect critical beneficial uses downstream such a public water supply, intake, fisheries or basic river and livelihood. Water catchment area should be avoided. Proximity is the facility should be distant to sensitive potential receptors of impacts such as schools, places of worship, nursing homes, and hospitals. 
for social or cultural needed to avoid populated areas, parks and scenic areas. Public participation and local interest groups consultation to gain local acceptance and an assessment of the impact on cultural resources would be necessary. Access or utilization of secondary roadways or streets is undesirable because of noise impacts and traffic congestion on routes not designed for heavy truck use. Geology or hydrology. Siting of facilities, for example industries, scheduled wastes facilities, solid wastes landfills, should have due regard for their potential to contaminate groundwater reserves. Waste disposal or raw materials site near to sources of principal raw materials and ensure availability of adequate waste disposal facilities. Next, risks of toxic clouds, fire and explosion. Locate so that the outer hazard distances coincide with the outer boundary of the buffer zone and human settlements. Noise is Secluded locations are best if feasible. If not, suitable buffers and distances from human dwellings must be kept. Land value. We need to know that land value and property value are likely to be affected by the placement of industrial facilities in a given area. The type of land use along roadways leading to the site entrance and the degree of residential development in the vicinity need to be considered. For ecology, need to avoid unique habitat areas. Sitting the plant or the ecologically or environmentally sensitive habitats, e.g. mangroves, estuaries, wetland, coral reefs. May I know who can conduct the IA study? Has to be conducted by competent individuals who are registered with the Departments of Environment, DOE, under the EIA Consultant Registration Scheme. EIA reports will be rejected by DOE if it conducted by non-registered individual with the department. Furthermore, EIA study team leader has to ensure all members in EIA study team need to be registered with DOE. Let visit Departments of Environment website www.govmy. There are some information available in this website such as the list of registered EIA consultants, including subject consultants and assistant consultants, details on the registration scheme, EIA consultant registration guide document. Hello Paul, I have a something in my mind. May I ask you what are the ensuring fairness in the EIA process? For sure Julie. I will explain it for you first, you need to register consultants names and terms of reference. Secondly, name consultants and their expertise in the EIA report. Thirdly, publish the terms of reference in the EIA report and make it available to the public. Last but not least, publish list of screening and final decisions along with conditions for approval. What are the next learning regarding EIA study? Next, we are learning regarding EIA guiding principles. There are nine principles on it. Let's go further details. Purpose of meeting its aims and objectives. Focused, concentrating on the effects that matter. Adaptive, responding to issues and realities. Transparent, clear and easily understood. Participative, fully involving the public. Rigorous, employing best practicable methodology. Practical, establishing mitigation measures that work. Credible, carried out with objectively and professionalism. Efficient, imposing least cost burden on proponents. There are several key operating principles of good environmental impact assessment practice. Be applied to all proposals with significant impacts. Begin early in the project cycle. Address relevant environmental, social and health impacts. Identify and take account of public views. Result in a statement of impacts and mitigation measures. Facilitate informed decision making and condition setting. Thank you for watching this video.